I hope you get to you. He is at your one. If you are chosen, that you are the elect. As we are told, he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. But they will not believe. We will not believe that he bet in force. Or we are speaking now of the Lord, the creator of the universe, who chose us in him. We call the foundation of the world. Well, tonight I will try to convince you that you are the goat. What the Lord bring it to the Lord? The most controversial verse in Ecclesiastes, the most disputed, is the 11th verse of the third chapter. And God is with eternity into the minds of men. Yet though that men cannot find out what God has done from beginning was he hit. This is the only time in the script that the word is translated eternity. Is the King James Version is translated the word. Wherever book they Moffat, James Moffat. And he translates the words as myth. To the mind of man he appointed myth. Wet though that man cannot fathom God own perfect from beginning to end. Paul comes on and he tells us he waited for the fullness of time. And when the fullness of time came, God takes forth the spirit of his son into our heart, crying, Father. And that he has made known unto us the mystery of his will according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him, both in heaven and in on earth. Now the word translated eternity or world or mystery is the Hebrew word odor. And now this is the only place in the entire book where it is translated the world or eternity, or with. And yet, it is used hundreds of times in the Bible. The word is holy. Here is one. And when you go to the people of Israel, and they ask you, who sent you? Don't we say, I am, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. The word forever is Odom. When you read the word everlasting in scripture, in the Old Testament, it is Odom. When you read Hello, it is Odom. Here in the 136th Psalm, they are 26 verses. And each verse ends with the same Thy hate fat love endures forever. And that forever is old. Now we put all of them into the mind of man. Remember, his name endures forever. Which is my name forever. What did he put into the mind of man? His name is himself. His name forever is I am. That is the immortal being who created the universe. 
His steadfast love endures forever. But into the mind of man came God in himself, with its I am, that the Lord. There is no other God. If you could only believe for one moment as you're seated here, you are aware of me. A willingness of being is actually saying without the use of word, I am. And that is God. If you could only believe that you are that all together wonderful being that he chose to give himself your entire world at stake. You would see everything different to feel that I am wanted. The average person in the world feels that he is unwanted, he is unknown, and yet you are known and loved by the only persons in the world that matter. That's who you really are. You are the being that God so loved, he actually became that you may become God. But when you say, I am that God, and there is no other God. Now, in Hebrew thought, this thing consists of all the generations of men and their experience, fused into a single whole. And that concentrated time into which all the generations of men and experiences are fused, and from which they all three is called eternity. The predominant thing of the word Olam is permanent. It means the continuum, as again, or in contrast to the fragmentary times that basically passes away. That something that is forever so he put first ever, which is himself, in you. Though Blake could quite honestly say, all things exist in the human imagining. So when you think tonight, though you may not be able to pay rain, though you may think you're unknown and unwanted, well upon this God, you not only know, but you are known by the only being that really matters. And that only being so clear that he became you. He dwells in you as your own wonderful human imagination. When you say, I am that God, there is no other God. And that is God forever and forever. That the immortal you that can not die. I could chop ask your head right now. And see the body turn into dust and putting it into the flame. Yet you cannot die. That's already a mask that you wore when I saw you. But you, the real you, cannot die. It's eternal because it is God, the real you. If you could only cast this feeling, your whole world would change with feel important. You'll feel wanted, wanted by who? The government? No, that's nothing, that's punctuary. And everything has. But this one that so loves you, has his not. He simply so loves you, he actually became you. And he is the eternal being in the world. You dwell upon that, and your whole feeling changes concerning your values in this world. Who you really are. And what you are to, you are the chosen one. You are the elect. Well, let me share with you a few letters that came with me. I see a few of them here who wrote it. One lady wrote saying that she found herself in her swimming school and she was toting on her back. And she decided to make the entire Swim on her back from one chain to the other. And she said, I felt that I had had too much wine. 
And I felt really to the point of capacity. And I shouted out, I have had too much wine. And then I got embarrassed that I had so much wine that even my words would not take the proper course. And I corrected myself and said, why? I said, I do enjoy a drink, but it's not wine. I like something stronger. I am not given to excessive drinking, but when I do have a drink, I like something stronger. But here it was wine. I am floating on water in my own pool. Then she said, I felt your presence. I didn't see you. I couldn't say to anyone, I thought it. I know I cannot actually say that you were another. Yet here, I know you were present, and you and I are one. We are in what? So I could no more use the word we. I will have to say I. Yet I know that you and I are one, and I cannot divide it and say we. It is in the I. And then I awoke. But he caught it perfectly. Where do you think I am going? When I depart the section of time. If heaven is with Egypt, and that's where I am headed, all of my experiences have completed this journey in this world of tears. Where can I go but within heaven, and heaven is with thee? Read the 17th chapter of the book of John. I dwell in them. In everyone. He gave, and we are one, as thou and I are one. And I mean that seriously. We are one, because there's only one God. So when you are rooted, and you are the father of that only begotten son, you are God. So where are you going to go? But that to yourself, which is God. And so he said, my presence, and yet you are not another like a thief. I couldn't refer to you as something as another. I could not even use the plural and say we. And yet I knew we were one. I felt your presence, and yet it's my very being. So the end, God played all the part. There was nothing in the world but God. He couldn't see the entire play. We played all the part, for his name forever is I am. You say I am, don't you? Well, that's dark. I say I am. It's the same God, if not another dark. So here, in this marvelous story, but conceal, for the word over means to hide self. It means to conceal. It means to hide from. It also means the lad, the youth, the stupid, the young man. And he put Elohim into the mind of man. What did he put into the mind of man? There is only Jesus Christ. But divide the word. Jesus is the Lord. That I am. Christ is his son, it's the son of the Lord, and that Christ is Daisy, he is the lad. So when he stands before the king, the demented king's soul, and Pharaoh said to him, Whose son are you, young man? He first inquired of his lieutenant, Ab Abner, whose son is that you? As your soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. In quiet, who sung the scripture? And then when he could not find out, he brings him before the king with the head of this giant in his hand. And then the king addresses 
David. He did it. Who son are you? Yep, man. To I am the son of Jesse. The son of Jesse was just in I am. I am telling you, I am the son of God. The word Jesse means I am. If any form of the verb to be, it means Jehovah exists. And Jehovah is God here about there, which really means I am. We tell you, I am the son of the one who would name forever and forever the I. So he's telling people, well, who did he put into the mind of man? He put himself and his son. Things is the mind of man. So Paul making the discovery could say, do you not realize that Jesus Christ, which is the Lord and his anointed one, his son, or king, and in the end of time, his purpose is revealed. God's purpose is to give himself to us. Literally. So, in the end, you are wasted. And his tongue calls you father. You tell the story of those that he brings out of fire that he has, that you may bring them to a certain level of awareness. And then you depart where you were to go. Into then. For where is heaven but within? The way you said, I cannot train we. I could only you with the personal pronoun in it, think the form, I. And yet I felt your presence and knew that we were one, but I can't use the word we. I am so much you, I can say we. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So we come to this day, and the journey is over. I am just simply your own wonderful I. So at the end, when the curtain comes down on the entire drama, God who conceived the entire thing, played it all, and forgave all. Forgave everyone because he played every task in the world. Never, 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 and he is here tonight. Just through my years, I'll use the imagination to achieve my goal in this world. And yet I sung myself, having used my imagination, and I completely forgot the incident. Then it came to pass, and I reaped the result. And I can't get what was at the least that I intellectually did it. And so I completely forget that imagination did it. I imagined this to be done, and then backed it. And then in the interval of time, it happened. I'm confronted with the evidence, and yet here I am stuck. Because I cannot get over that belief that I intellectually did it, and that I do remember having done it in my imagination. Then he spoke several lovely passages of Scripture. So we the 20th chapter of Numbers. He quoted the eighth of Deuteronomy. He quoted the tenth of Isaiah and the seven of Judges. If you read the story, the Lord is trying to convince Israel that Israel didn't do it, that the Lord did it. So in the book of Judges, he said, I, said, I am now stuck. I can't understand this test that the Lord gave to Israel in the book of Judges, to read it in the seventh chapter. He is about to conquer Midian for Israel. And so the call goes out, and 32,000 responded. Now he gives them two tests. The first test was one based upon fear. And 22,000 of them confessed that they were afraid. So they were released from duty and sent back to their home. He still had things out. He thought that's too many. But we're here with say we did it. But if I can reduce that number from 10,000 to just a skeleton, 
against the mighty hurls of Gideon. So I can say that my mighty arm did it, that the Lord must be done. So then he gives him a second tip. Anyone who can lap water as the dog laps water. And fell in the oil had to make the tip a running brook. And those who went down on their knee were disqualified. Where who cut their hands and drank it from their hands, being alert constantly. There were drinking the earther. Where in mind, the lady said she was floating on waters and was filled with wine. The first sign in John is to turn the spell and fill it with water and then turn the water into wine. There are three levels of word that solid, objective, fact, the reality. Then the word is the psychological meaning of scripture. And then comes the wine, the spiritual understanding of it. So here, only 300 cut their hand and drank up. And they are put aside that they were the only ones who would be taken to conquer all the hold of Midian. The picture could not say, by my own strong hand I did it. That does it mean? That's a parable. All these are parables. It's a parable of light for all of us. Spiritual knowledge is obtained by those who, while they move along, the normal natural paths of experience. <laughs> Leave themselves as it comes. And there are those who will feast. There must be a special occasion. A retreat from my medicine. I was well from the world. I was actually put myself apart and become something entirely different from well, the spirit of the dark to the body. May I tell you, they will wait and wait and wait for a number of years, and it will not come that way. We're about to have those business, going to the marketplace, and whatever you are doing, do it. So always remember the Lord. They were cut their hands, but they were alert. They didn't get them on their knees, and barely they hit in the revving tree. They cut their hands to the river, or they were on a journey. Three hundred. So he reduced it from thirty two thousand to three hundred. So I say to him, You feel that you take the credit for your intellectual accomplishment, and you know from experience that you did precede that with an imaginal act, and then you forgot the imaginal act. I bet the imaginal act didn't forget itself. It came to pass, and you reached the harvest of what you had done imaginally. No, you did not really accomplish it with your own intellectual power. Well, we're back to see now. You do not need any withdrawal from this world for spiritual nourishment. None who else do well. You think you need some special occasion? If you need some little retreat where you can go and meditate, you have the wrong concept of God. Well, he is in you. Where you better go to find him more than where you can find him wherever you are. If you're standing at a bar, he is present. No matter where you are this night, he is present in you. He is not in any holy place in the world. Wherever you are, that's the holy base. <laughs> there is that the angel in the world. No so called holy place called a, a sanctified cemetery. Cemetery is what? It's buried in you. You are the sepulchre where God is buried. He is not buried in any cemetery in this world. He never was. He is buried in the color of man. That's very, very. The lady now writes some kind of epistle. And she said, you know, that was the strangest scene, and I can't have respect it. I miss you. And the way you are expounding scripture. And then you came over to me, and you embraced me. 
and I pushed you away, and I said, no, Neville, what I would I do not know. She didn't say that in a letter. I think she says, I said to her, you know, I would have married you. And she said, but I am married. And I said, yes, I know. But the days you come, you will know that it's Jerry, that's her husband, and I are one. It was not a union of sex. It's a union of my teaching. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For my yoke is the teaching. For she loves it. She has the record because she made them herself. That's the last meeting in San Francisco. So she made sin. And she said, which she plays them over and over. And he made others before that. So you must have maybe 30 or 40 of these recordings. But she hasn't quite absorbed you. Or she could not have said no. There will be no sex in this. It's a union with God. For I am telling you, I became one with him, where he embraced him. So we are no longer two. Just as my friends said, I can't use the pronoun we. I will use now the singular. I, and yet I feel your presence, and I of you. And with, I haven't lost my identity. And I can tell you from my own experience. Well, well the sameness of identity, when this thing happens, where is a radical change in soul? It's not this firm at all. It's this. Now, took these words and see if you aren't shocked by them. In the Wizard of Travels, the eighth chapter, the 22nd verse, the Lord created me at the beginning of his way. The first of his back alone. Look at the word beginning, at the beginning of his way. And this is the definition given in Premless Concord. To shake the head. The top. The beginning is when that head of your five breaks, so you think this is the end, and it's only then the beginning. When your head so well breaks that you think this is it, meaning to yourself, never having experienced anything comparable to this, that this is the end of what the world would call out, we're dying. Far from dying, the verb just the head. We vibrated the head. And that vibration went. Who did you wake? If you would be asked, who heard it? And who actually was wake when he heard it and birthed it? You were at the I. I am waking. And who found himself within the tool and knew it to be his own God? You would answer I. And who then knew how to come out? You would say, I. And who came out? You would say, I. And who found the child? I knew it to be his own. I. So the I is buried in there. And it's God. And it comes with the vibration of the head. When the whole head begins to shoot, it is the shaking of the head. Rosh, we have a new year, we think of Rosh Hashanah. Rosh is the shaking of the head. It's not another year pass by, and I mark it off the calendar and go to another year. This is an entirely new age, when that head shake. It's a map after year after year, because it's now the year 1972. And the Jews speak of the year. Going back over five centuries, I mean five thousand years. But that's not the rush of the wrath is on us. That could just speak so. It speaks of the shaking of the head at the top. And then it goes on to say the first ball, the first fruit, 
How do you tie the black and it is different? Right. When the head begins to shake, then you come out. And you are born from the top. You are born from God. And all things run through the origin. So if the origin is God, the end is God. It is God set his form. But then you are in this world. You are not only an extinction of the Lord. For he explained himself in those that are born. Born from the dark. But Paul will be born from above. And that's how God expands and expands and expands himself. So he is put eternities into the minds of men. Where so, if men cannot find out what God has done, come the beginning to the end. Nevertheless, at that thing he does make known his presence. As Paul said in his letter to the Ephesians, he has made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time. So when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his son, who is Christ, to disgrace him, crying in our heart, Father. And you look up, and he is your sons, and he calls you father. Who do we call father? We call him God father. And God is your own wonderful I am. Who does he call? He's calling me father. I am his father. And so we have to have that experience. So in the end, as I find have experience, we are one. We are not here. I dwell in them, and they dwell in me, and we are one. Keep them in thy name, O Holy Father. And the love that thou gave to me is the love you give me, that they may be one as we are one. So I am not a god of sorrow, says he. I am a brother and a pain. But many will not believe it. And he turns down, tires and weary, and turns down the valley itself. He would believe this. He tried to believe that the one he disliked in himself. He tried to believe that the man who fell from his day is himself. He tried to believe that the man who gave him good to stay is himself. The oil obsessed it. And I might say that you wouldn't be absorbed. As the word that beautifully be told in her letter. I felt for a person. The identity was there, the question about it. But for all the thinness of identity, we are one. I wouldn't lose my identity. I'm your fair it's Sam, and I am you. And your presence is an identity. And yet I cannot use the plural in speaking of we are floating on the water. So she was filled with wine. Are we not told in Paul's letter to Timothy? Drink no more water. Use a little wine for your stomach's sake and your many infirmity. You will have constantly observed the law and apply only the law towards the getting of things in this world. From now on, let it become wine, let it become spirit, so it becomes a part of so you drink wine, not a little bottle of wine, although I'm very fond of wine. I love it. I have my full bottle of wine today with some tea for my lunch. I thoroughly enjoy the fifth of wine and I own a section of Edam. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But that's not the wine spoken of in fiction. The wine is the transforming of the water into wine. A psychological well is forever. A fairy terror is becoming the man, becoming the woman that you want to be. But it's enough after a while to become this, become that, become the other. Kept your hope fully upon the grace that is coming to you. But the unveiling of Jesus Christ with it. When the fairy is unveiled 
and it can only be unveiled to his son, who revealed you as his father. And that is the story. So he has put, yes, I would use the word eternities, I'll use the word worlds, and he's put every thing within. You don't have to go outside of self to find anything. You find it within. And by applying the principle, you wreck having done what you are supposed to do. And let it come to pass. That do not forget, as my friend so wisely said in studying these passages from Scripture, that he finds it so difficult, trade as he is, he's a college graduate, he's a professional psychiatrist, teaching psychiatry to worry, and he finds it difficult not to claim that his own intellectual power grabbed these to bear, even though he remembered that there was a moment in time when he, not intellectually, but when he imagined the state by denying the evidence of the senses, by denying reason, or reason did not carry into it, because we denied what he is now doing in imagination, and having done it, he forgot it. And then, in good time, it happened in this world, and he reached the habit of what he did in imagination. But he said, I find it so difficult, trained as I am, not to take the credit. And that's exactly what these passages that he quoted in the scripture is against. They will not use the credit, but it belongs. They are quickly to themselves their own part that intellectual state. And this whole vast state is so unlike what the world believes it is. The whole vast in I haven't time to actually develop it. I will on Monday. To show you that third we think in this world on this level is the unlike where it is on the next higher level. And man can't believe it until he's had what is strength, he can't believe that this is not what it appears to be. But I'll show it is on Monday. But here I went most disputed burst in the book of Ecclesiastes. Eleven births are the third chapter, and Barrows put eternity into the mind of man. But well, that man cannot find that what God has done, from the beginning to the end. That in the prolific time, children, the rose to rule the outcome at the end of time. He doesn't come. Does that confine them to silence? They may go and tell it to the best of their ability exactly how it happened. So, Bill Ecclesiastes says that we will never find out. Now, in the end, you do find out God's own purpose. We find his mystery, and his mystery is to actually literally give himself to us. That's his state first out forever. And that is over them forever. And thy name will endure forever. That is over them. The word everlasting. His word was everlasting covered with me. That word in over them. They read last word in the second book of Samuel, the 23rd chapter. And he has made with me an everlasting. In covenant. And that word is holy. It is forever and forever. And so he will now be a witness for all generation. He was always come at that appointed moment, burning, I need to be revealed as to who I am. And Peter will rise. And Sarah, I have nothing to the faith of my son. But I know. That scripture told me he was God's son, but I have no feeling of God as a leather. He has to become me that I am a frog. So he was totally wet in saying, I can't you need approval. I can't throw me or be his father. He has to become me that I am his father. And so he, in the floating, getting me with wine. And the lad tell us, don't be embarrassed because you said, 
you have tears but why? This pink has been the symbol of the stadium throughout all the generations. And Phil, you're seeking of it. To eat in this lab, we drank his blood and you ate his fish. It means you actually observe the teaching. That's how you eat it. You can eat it by observing the teaching. Now, I have a friend of mine, she's here tonight, and she like. But here I have uh, this vision. Our arms in a cathedral. I'm going to the thing where choir. I'm going to have two persons present writing out a number of my desk. And I'll say, but I am not dead. No, I am alive. But the real writing out a number announcing my death. When the clever group first put up into the most glorious hallelujah, which call of pray, hallelujah, praise Jehovah. That's what the world would need. And I joined him with the chorus singing of Mario Thorne, death. Death to what? It is death to this level. Death to this level. His drone was the choral group in singing our own departure from birth level will be into another level. But I'm telling you, you're ever a witness. My letters are now becoming well I'm more along this line. This week I must have received at least two dozen. I had to give one today to a friend of mine to ask her to please answer this for me. Because I don't have the time. And yet I hunger for the letters. So if they demand an answer, uh, this one did. An interpretation because they're not here, say, a thousand miles away. And that, that has to be answered. But you do have here, I can answer your letters from the platform. But those would come, say, at my friend in San Francisco, I haven't answered that yet. It's been there for 10 days. But I may get to it this weekend. But I have so much to do at home as my wife that I do not have the time to answer letters. If I could answer them from the third form, it's a tremendous help. So, Brian, I will that have convinced you did size. How wonderful you are. That you were chosen. Not that it's some head of government. That would it matter than that if you've had the telling metal. And so many were given the Stalin medal, and it fits the medal. But we should note it. That to be chosen by the creator of the universe. He is firm left you that he became. And his name is forever and forever. And his name is I am. And it's very dangerous that God in you. Think in the feelings of being so wanted, being so chosen, being the irrep. And your friend of rise feeling unwanted and feeling stunted in the world. Now let us go into the silence. 